Today, I'm thrilled to share with you five powerful methods for cultivating an unstoppable mindset. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in chaos and lose sight of our goals and dreams. We often face challenges and setbacks that leave us feeling defeated and discouraged. But fear not, as you are not alone in this struggle. In fact, it's a common experience that we all go through at some point in our lives. The good news is that by listening to this message, you can turn things around and develop an unbreakable mindset that will propel you toward success and fulfillment. So, let's dive into the five key principles that will help you develop an unstoppable mindset. Starting with number five, the fifth way to cultivate an unstoppable mindset is by taking massive action. We live in a world where information is readily available at our fingertips. We have access to endless resources and knowledge with just a click of a button. However, what good is all this knowledge if we do not put it into action? Having an unstoppable mindset is not just about having a positive attitude or setting goals. It's about taking massive action towards those goals. It's about putting in the work day in and day out to make your dreams a reality. It's about being relentless in your pursuit of success. So, what does it mean to take massive action? It means going above and beyond what is expected. It means pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and doing things that may seem uncomfortable or even scary. It means taking risks and being willing to fail. It means being proactive and not waiting for opportunities to come to you, but creating your own opportunities. Let me illustrate this with a story about a man named Jack. Jack had big dreams of becoming a successful entrepreneur. He had read all the books, attended all the seminars, and listened to all the podcasts about how to achieve success. But he never took any action. He was waiting for the perfect moment, the perfect idea, the perfect opportunity. He was waiting for success to come to him. But success does not come to those who wait. It comes to those who take massive action. And that is exactly what Jack did. He started by taking small steps, making phone calls, networking, and putting himself out there. He faced rejection and failure, but he did not let it stop him. He kept taking massive action, and eventually, his hard work paid off. Today Jack is a successful entrepreneur, and he attributes his success to taking massive action. Now taking massive action is not easy. It requires dedication, discipline, and hard work. But the rewards are worth it. When you take massive action, you are constantly moving forward, making progress towards your goals. You are not standing still, waiting for something to happen. You are creating your own success. One of the biggest obstacles to taking massive action is fear. Fear of failure. Fear of rejection. Fear of the unknown. But fear is not real. It is a product of our thoughts. And just like we can create fear in our minds, we can also create courage. Courage to take that first step, to make that phone call, to ask for that promotion, to start that business. So, how can you start taking massive action today? The first step is to identify your goals and create a plan of action. Break down your goals into smaller actionable steps, and then start taking those steps one at a time. Don't get overwhelmed by the big picture. Focus on what you can do today to move closer to your goals. Surround yourself with like-minded individuals who will support and motivate you. Find a mentor who has achieved what you want to achieve and learn from them. And most importantly, believe in yourself and your abilities. You have the power within you to take massive action and create the life you desire. Now, to the fourth way to cultivate an unstoppable mindset. Before we dive into our topic, I want you to take a moment and think about the word gratitude. What does it mean to you? For some, it may be a simple expression of thanks, while for others, it may hold a deeper meaning. But one thing is for sure. Gratitude is a powerful emotion that has the ability to transform our lives. So, let me ask you this. Have you ever stopped and truly appreciated everything that you have in your life? Have you ever taken a moment to be grateful for the air you breathe, the food you eat, the roof over your head, the people in your life, and the opportunities that come your way? If your answer is yes, then I commend you, my friend. But if your answer is no, then I urge you to start practicing gratitude today. Gratitude is not just a feeling. It is a mindset. It is a way of looking at the world with a sense of appreciation and thankfulness. And when we cultivate this mindset, we open ourselves up to a world of abundance and endless possibilities. When we practice gratitude, we shift our focus from what we lack to what we have. We stop chasing after things that we think will make us happy, and start appreciating the blessings that are already present in our lives. This shift in perspective allows us to see the world in a whole new light. 
Instead of dwelling on our problems and setbacks, we start to see them as opportunities for growth and learning. But the benefits of gratitude do not stop there. When we practice gratitude, we also attract more positivity into our lives. The law of attraction states that we attract into our lives what we focus on. So when we focus on the good and express gratitude for it, we attract more good into our lives. Moreover, gratitude also helps us to stay grounded and humble. It reminds us that we are not entitled to anything, and that everything we have is a gift. This mindset of humility keeps us hungry for success, but at the same time keeps us grateful for what we have achieved. It prevents us from becoming complacent, and drives us to keep striving for more. So, how can you start practicing gratitude today? The first step is to start a gratitude journal. Every night before you go to bed, write down three things that you are grateful for that day. This will not only help you to reflect on the good in your life, but also serve as a reminder to be grateful every day. Secondly, express your gratitude to others. Take the time to thank the people in your life who have made a positive impact on you. It could be your parents, your friends, your colleagues, or even a stranger who showed you kindness. Not only will this make them feel appreciated, but it will also fill your heart with joy. And lastly, practice gratitude in difficult times. When faced with challenges, it may be hard to find things to be grateful for. But I urge you to look deeper, my friends. There is always something to be grateful for, even in the toughest of times. It could be the lessons you have learned, the strength you have gained, or the support of your loved ones. Find the silver lining and hold on to it with gratitude. And now, to the third way to cultivate an unstoppable mindset. I want to talk to you about the power of surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people. As human beings we are greatly influenced by the people we surround ourselves with. Our thoughts, beliefs and actions are shaped by the people we spend the most time with. That is why it is crucial to be intentional about the company. The people we choose to surround ourselves with can either lift us up or bring us down. They can inspire us to reach new heights, or hold us back from our full potential. So my friends, I urge you to take a moment and think about the people you spend the most time with. Are they positive and supportive? Do they believe in your dreams and encourage you to pursue them? Or do they constantly criticize and discourage you? Do they bring out the best in you or the worst? These are important questions to ask ourselves because the people we surround ourselves with have a significant impact on our mindset and ultimately our success. Now you may be wondering why it's so important to surround ourselves with positive and supportive people. Well let me tell you, the answer is simple. Positive and supportive people have a contagious energy that can uplift and motivate us. They have a way of making us feel good about ourselves and our abilities. They can see the potential in us even when we can't see it ourselves. And most importantly, they believe in us and our dreams. On the other hand, negative and unsupportive people can drain our energy and bring us down. They can make us doubt ourselves and our abilities. They can plant seeds of fear and self-doubt in our minds, making it difficult for us to move forward. And worst of all, they may not believe in us and our dreams, which can be a significant blow to our confidence and motivation. My friends, I have learned from personal experience that the people we surround ourselves with can either be our greatest assets or our biggest obstacles. When I was a young man, I had big dreams and aspirations, but I was surrounded by negative and unsupportive people. They told me that I was just a dreamer and that I would never amount to anything. They tried to bring me down to their level, and for a while, they succeeded. But then I made a conscious decision to change my environment and surround myself with positive and supportive people. And let me tell you, that was one of the best decisions I ever made. These people believed in me and my dreams. They encouraged me to keep going even when the road got tough. They challenged me to be better and to strive for greatness. And most importantly, they showed me that anything was possible if I had the right mindset and the right people by my side. Surrounding myself with positive and supportive people not only changed my mindset, but also changed my life. It gave me the courage to pursue my dreams and to never give up, no matter how many times I failed. It gave me the strength to overcome obstacles and challenges that came my way. And it gave me the motivation to keep going even when I felt like giving up. Now, I want to make one thing clear, my friends. Surrounding ourselves with positive and supportive people does not mean that we should only have people who agree with us and never challenge us. It means having people who genuinely care about us and want to see us succeed. It means having people who will tell us the truth, even if it's not what we want to hear. It means having people who will push us out of our comfort zones and help us grow. 
So, how do we surround ourselves with positive and supportive people? Well, the first step is to be intentional about the company we keep. We must be selective about the people we allow into our inner circle. We must surround ourselves with people who share our values and have a positive outlook on life. We must also be willing to let go of toxic relationships that are holding us back. The second step is to seek out like-minded individuals. Join groups and communities of people who share similar goals and aspirations. Attend networking events and conferences where you can meet new people and expand your circle. And most importantly, be open to making new connections and building meaningful relationships. Lastly, my friends, we must also be positive and supportive to those around us. The law of attraction states that we attract what we put out into the world. So if we want to surround ourselves with positive and supportive people, we must also be positive and supportive ourselves. We must be the kind of person we want to attract into our lives. And now, on to the second way to have an unstoppable mindset, and that is to embrace failure. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. Failure? Why would I want to embrace something that is often seen as a negative and undesirable outcome? Well, my friends, that is exactly why I am here today. To change your perspective on failure. You see, failure is not the end. It is not a sign of weakness or incompetence. In fact, failure is a necessary step toward success. It is a crucial part of the journey towards achieving our goals and dreams. Think about it. Every successful person you admire has experienced failure at some point in their lives. From Thomas Edison to Walt Disney, they all faced numerous failures before achieving the success that we know them for today. And that is because they embraced failure and used it as a stepping stone towards their ultimate success. But why is it so important to embrace failure? Well, for one, failure teaches us valuable lessons. It shows us what works and what doesn't. It helps us identify our weaknesses in areas that need improvement. And most importantly, it builds resilience and character. You see, when we fail, it's easy to get discouraged and give up. But it is during these moments of failure that our true character is tested. It is when we face adversity that we have the opportunity to rise above it and come back stronger. Embracing failure also allows us to take risks. We often fear failure because we are afraid of the unknown and the potential consequences. But when we embrace failure, we are more willing to take risks and try new things. And it is through these risks that we discover new opportunities and reach our full potential. Now I know it's easier said than done. Failure can be a tough pill to swallow. But the key is to change our perception of failure. Instead of seeing it as a negative outcome, we should see it as a learning experience. We should view failure as a temporary setback, not a permanent defeat. And how do we do that? By shifting our focus from the failure itself to the lessons we can learn from it. Ask yourself, what can I learn from this experience? How can I use this failure to my advantage? What can I do differently next time? I also want to emphasize the importance of taking responsibility for our failures. It's easy to blame external factors or other people for our failures. But the truth is, we are the ones in control of our own lives. And taking responsibility for our failures allows us to take ownership of our actions and make the necessary changes to improve. But let me be clear, embracing failure does not mean seeking out failure or being careless with our actions. It means being prepared for the possibility of failure and using it as a tool for growth and improvement. And I want to share a personal example with all of you. When I first started my career as a speaker, I faced a lot of failures. I was rejected by numerous event organizers. I struggled to connect with my audience, and I made many mistakes along the way. But instead of giving up, I embraced those failures and used them to improve my craft. I learned from my mistakes. I sought out opportunities to improve, and I never gave up on my dream. And now, I am standing here in front of all of you, living my dream and inspiring others to do the same. Now, I want to talk to you about the number one way to have an unstoppable mindset, and that is by setting clear and specific goals. You see, our minds are powerful tools, and they can either work for us or against us. If we don't have a clear direction, our minds will wander and lead us astray. But when we have a clear and specific goal in mind, our minds become focused and unstoppable. Think about it. Every successful person you know has a goal. They have a clear vision of what they want to achieve. And they work tirelessly towards it. And that is the key, my friends. Having a clear and specific goal is the first step towards an unstoppable mindset. But what makes a goal clear and specific? Let me break it down for you. 
First and foremost, a clear and specific goal is something that you truly desire. It is not something that others want for you, or something that society tells you to want. It is something that comes from within you, something that makes your heart sing and your soul dance. When you have a goal that truly speaks to you, it becomes a burning desire, a passion that drives you forward. And that is the fuel you need to keep going when the going gets tough. Next, a clear and specific goal is something that is well defined. It is not vague or ambiguous. It is not, I want to be rich, or, I want to be successful. Those are great aspirations, but they are not specific enough. A clear and specific goal is something like, I want to make $100,000 in the next year, or, I want to start my own business and have it running successfully within the next six months. These goals have a specific target and a specific timeline, making them easier to work towards. Now some of you may be thinking, but what if I don't know what my goal is? What if I don't have a burning desire or a clear vision? Well, my friends, I have a simple answer for you. Start with what you know. You may not know exactly what you want to achieve, but you do know what you don't want. Use that as a starting point. Write down all the things you don't want in your life, and then flip it. For example, if you don't want to be in debt, your goal could be, I want to be financially free and have no debt. The key is to start somewhere and keep refining your goal as you go along. Remember, the goal is not set in stone, and it can change as you grow and evolve. Now let's talk about the power of specificity. When your goal is specific, you know exactly what you are working towards. You have a clear target, and you can break it down into smaller achievable steps. This brings me to my next point. A clear and specific goal is also measurable. You need to be able to track your progress and see how far you have come. This not only helps you stay motivated, but also allows you to make adjustments if needed. For example, if your goal is to lose 20 low Bs in 3 months, you can track your progress by weighing yourself every week. If you see that you are not on track, you can make changes to your diet or exercise routine to get back on track. But if your goal is vague, like, I want to lose weight, how will you know if you have achieved it? How will you know if you are making progress or not? The next aspect of a clear and specific goal is that it is achievable. Now I am not saying that you should limit yourself or set small goals, but your goal should be something that is within your reach. Something that you can realistically achieve with hard work and dedication. If your goal is too big or unrealistic, you will only end up feeling discouraged and demotivated. It is important to challenge yourself, but it is equally important to set achievable goals. And finally, a clear and specific goal is time-bound. Time is our most valuable resource, and we need to use it wisely. When you have a deadline for your goal, it creates a sense of urgency and pushes you to take action. It is easy to procrastinate when you don't have a deadline, but when you know that you only have a certain amount of time to achieve your goal, you are more likely to take action and make the most of your time. So my friends, to have an unstoppable mindset, you need to set clear and specific goals. Goals that are well-defined, measurable, achievable, and time-bound. Goals that come from within you and ignite a burning desire in your heart. With a clear and specific goal, your mind becomes focused and unstoppable. You will have a sense of purpose and direction, and you will be able to overcome any obstacles that come your way. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be here with you today to share some valuable insights on personal development. Are you someone who struggles with self-improvement? Do you find yourself constantly searching for ways to better yourself, but feel like you're stuck in a rut? Well, you're not alone. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos and neglect our own personal growth. But fear not, because in today's message, I'm going to share with you five powerful ways to improve your personal development. These are strategies that have helped me and countless others turn our lives around and achieve success in all areas, whether it's in your career, relationships, or overall well-being. These tips will help you take control of your life and become the best version of yourself. So if you're ready to break free from the chains of stagnation and unlock your full potential, then I urge you to stay tuned and take notes. Because by the end of this message, you will have the tools and knowledge to embark on a journey of personal growth and transformation. So let's dive in and start improving ourselves, starting with number five. Number five. Improve your personal development by stepping out of your comfort zone. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would anyone willingly leave their comfort zone? After all, it's called a comfort zone for a reason, right? 
It's where we feel safe, secure, and in control. But let me tell you, my friends, true growth and progress happen outside of our comfort zone. Think about it. When was the last time you learned something new, achieved something great, or had a breakthrough in your life while staying within your comfort zone? I'm willing to bet it was never. That's because our comfort zone is like a bubble. It keeps us confined and limits our potential. It's only when we step out of that bubble that we can truly experience life to its fullest. I understand that stepping out of your comfort zone can be scary. It's natural to feel afraid of the unknown and to worry about failure. But let me ask you this. What's scarier, taking a risk and potentially failing, or living a life of regret and wondering, what if? I'll let you ponder on that for a moment. The truth is, we often underestimate our ability and overestimate the risks involved in stepping out of our comfort zone. We let our fears hold us back from reaching our full potential. But let me tell you, the only way to overcome fear is by facing it head on. And the only way to grow is by stepping out of our comfort zone. So how do we do it? How do we step out of our comfort zone and improve our personal development? The first step is to identify your comfort zone. What are the things you do on a daily basis that make you feel comfortable? Is it your job, your routine, your relationships? Once you have identified your comfort zone, it's time to challenge it. Start by setting small goals that push you out of your comfort zone. It could be something as simple as trying a new hobby, taking a class, or speaking up in a meeting. The key is to push yourself just enough to feel uncomfortable, but not overwhelmed. As you achieve these small goals, you will gain confidence and be ready to tackle bigger challenges. Another way to step out of your comfort zone is by exposing yourself to new experiences. Travel to a new place, try new foods, or attend events that you would not normally go to. These experiences will broaden your perspective and help you break out of your comfort zone. Surrounding yourself with people who challenge you is also crucial. As I mentioned earlier, we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. So if you want to grow, surround yourself with people who are constantly pushing themselves out of their comfort zone. They will inspire and motivate you to do the same. But let me warn you, stepping out of your comfort zone is not a one-time thing. It's a continuous process. As you achieve one goal, set another one that pushes you even further. And remember, failure is a part of the process. It's not about avoiding failure, it's about learning from it and using it as a stepping stone towards success. Now, I want to share a personal story with you. When I first started my journey towards personal development, I was a shy and introverted young man. I was comfortable staying in my bubble, and the thought of speaking in front of a crowd terrified me. But I knew that if I wanted to achieve my goals, I had to step out of my comfort zone. So I started by speaking in front of small groups, and as I gained confidence, I took on bigger challenges. And here I am today, standing in front of all of you, sharing my message. I urge you to step out of your comfort zone, embrace the discomfort, and use it as fuel to propel you towards your goals. Remember, the magic happens outside of your comfort zone, and the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Which leads us to number four. Improve your personal development by surrounding yourself with positive influences. This may seem like a simple concept, but it holds immense power in shaping our lives. We are all influenced by the people we surround ourselves with. The people we spend our time with have a significant impact on our thoughts, actions, and ultimately our success. Think about it. Have you ever been in the company of someone who constantly complains, criticizes, and brings negative energy into the room? How did you feel after spending time with them? I bet you didn't feel motivated or inspired to take action towards your goals. On the other hand, have you been around someone who radiates positivity, encourages you, and believes in your potential? How did that make you feel? I'm sure you felt empowered and motivated to become the best version of yourself. The people we surround ourselves with can either lift us up or bring us down. Therefore, it is crucial to choose our company wisely. We must surround ourselves with positive influences to improve our personal development and achieve success. But how do we do that? How do we ensure that we are surrounded by positive influences? Well, my friends, I have four simple steps for you. Firstly, be mindful of the people you spend your time with. Take a moment to reflect on your inner circle. Are they positive, driven, and supportive individuals? Or are they negative, unmotivated, and toxic? It's time to evaluate and make necessary changes. Remember, you become the average of the five people you spend the most time with, 
so choose wisely. Secondly, seek out positive role models. We all need someone to look up to, someone who inspires us to be better. Look for people who have achieved success in areas that you aspire to excel in. Learn from their experiences, their mindset, and their habits. Surround yourself with people who are where you want to be, and you will be motivated to reach your goals. Thirdly, join a community of like-minded individuals. We are social beings, and we thrive in a community. Find a group of people who share similar goals and values as you. It could be a mastermind group, a networking group, or even an online community. Being surrounded by people who are on a similar journey as you will provide you with support, accountability, and a sense of belonging. Lastly, be the positive influence. As the saying goes, be the change you wish to see in the world. If you want to surround yourself with positive influences, then be a positive influence yourself. Be the person who uplifts others, who encourages and supports them. By being a positive influence, you will attract like-minded individuals into your life, and together, you can all grow and achieve success. My friends, the people we surround ourselves with are a reflection of who we are and who we want to become. If we want to improve our personal development and achieve success, we must surround ourselves with positive influences. It may not be easy, and it may require us to make some tough decisions, but trust me, it will be worth it. Which leads us to number three. Improve your personal development by learning new skills. Now you may be wondering why this is so important. Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever felt stuck in your personal or professional life? Have you ever felt like you're not making progress or reaching your full potential? If your answer is yes, then learning new skills is the solution to your problem. You see, we live in a constantly evolving world. Technology is advancing at a rapid pace, industries are changing, and new opportunities are emerging every day. In order to keep up with these changes and stay ahead of the game, we must be willing to learn and adapt. As the saying goes, if you're not learning, you're falling behind. Learning new skills not only helps us stay relevant and competitive, but it also opens up new doors of opportunity. When we acquire new skills, we become more valuable to our employers, and we increase our chances of getting a promotion or a better job. And for entrepreneurs, learning new skills can lead to the growth and success of their businesses. But the benefits of learning new skills go beyond just professional growth. It also has a significant impact on our personal development. When we challenge ourselves to learn something new, we step out of our comfort zones and push our limits. This builds our confidence and self-esteem, making us more resilient and adaptable in the face of challenges. Learning new skills also helps us expand our knowledge and perspectives. It allows us to see things from different angles and think outside the box. This not only enhances our problem-solving skills, but also helps us become more creative and innovative in our personal and professional lives. Now you may be thinking, that all sounds great, but where do I start? Well, the good news is, learning new skills doesn't have to be a daunting task. It can be as simple as taking a course, attending a workshop, or even watching a tutorial online. The key is to identify the skills that are relevant to your goals and interests, and then take action to acquire them. But let me warn you, learning new skills requires discipline and consistency. It's not a one-time thing, it's a continuous process. It may take time and effort, but the rewards are worth it. As the great philosopher Aristotle once said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. So make learning a habit, and you will see the positive impact it has on your personal development. Another important aspect of learning new skills is to have a growth mindset. This means believing that your abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. It's about embracing challenges and seeing failures as opportunities to learn and grow. With a growth mindset, you will not be afraid to take on new challenges and learn new things, even if it means making mistakes along the way. Lastly, I want to emphasize the importance of continuous learning. Learning new skills should not stop once you've acquired a certain level of proficiency. In today's fast-paced world, skills can become obsolete quickly. Therefore, it is crucial to stay updated and continuously improve our skills to stay relevant and competitive. Which leads us to number two. Improve your personal development by practicing self-reflection. Now you may be wondering, what exactly is self-reflection? And why is it so important? Well, let me tell you. Self-reflection is the process of looking inward and examining our thoughts, 
feelings, and actions. It is a conscious effort to understand ourselves better, and it is a powerful tool for personal growth and development. In today's fast-paced world, we are constantly bombarded with distractions. Our days are filled with endless to-do lists, meetings, and responsibilities. We are always on the go, and we rarely take the time to pause and reflect on our lives. But let me ask you, how can we improve ourselves if we don't take the time to understand ourselves? How can we grow if we don't reflect on our actions and behaviors? Self-reflection is the key to unlocking our true potential. It allows us to identify our strengths and weaknesses, our values and beliefs, and our goals and aspirations. It helps us gain clarity and perspective on our lives, and it allows us to make better decisions. As the great philosopher Socrates once said, the unexamined life is not worth living. And I couldn't agree more. Self-reflection doesn't have to be a time-consuming process. It can be as simple as taking a few minutes at the end of each day to reflect on your actions, thoughts, and emotions. The key is to make it a habit, to make it a part of your daily routine. So how exactly does self-reflection improve our personal development? Well, for starters, it allows us to identify our limiting beliefs. We all have beliefs that hold us back from achieving our full potential. These beliefs are often ingrained in our minds since childhood, and we are not even aware of them. But through self-reflection, we can uncover these beliefs and replace them with empowering ones. We can challenge ourselves to think differently and break free from our self-imposed limitations. Self-reflection also helps us become more self-aware. It allows us to understand our emotions and how they affect our thoughts and actions. By becoming more self-aware, we can control our emotions instead of letting them control us. We can choose to respond instead of reacting impulsively. This is crucial for personal development, because our emotions can either propel us forward or hold us back. Moreover, self-reflection allows us to learn from our mistakes. We all make mistakes. It's a part of life. But the key is to learn from them and not repeat them. By reflecting on our actions and behaviors, we can identify where we went wrong and how we can do better next time. This is how we grow and improve as individuals. But perhaps the most significant benefit of self-reflection is that it helps us align our actions with our goals and values. Many of us have goals and dreams, but we often get sidetracked by the demands of daily life. We lose sight of what truly matters to us. But through self-reflection, we can realign ourselves with our goals and values. We can make sure that our actions are in line with our long-term vision for ourselves. I want you to commit to practicing self-reflection every day for the next 30 days. Take just a few minutes each day to reflect on your thoughts, actions, and emotions. Write them down in a journal if possible. And at the end of the 30 days, I want you to look back and see how far you've come. I guarantee you will be amazed by the progress you've made. Which leads us to number one. Improve your personal development by setting clear goals. Goals are the foundation of personal development. They give us direction, purpose, and motivation. Without clear goals, we are like ships without a rudder, drifting aimlessly in the sea. But with clear goals, we have a destination in mind, and we can chart our course towards it. So my friends, I urge you to set clear goals for yourself, and watch as your personal development soars to new heights. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. But Jim, I have set goals before, and I never seem to achieve them. Well, my friends, that's because you haven't set clear goals. Setting goals is not just about writing down a list of things you want to achieve. It's about defining what you truly want and creating a plan to get there. It's about setting smart goals. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Let me give you an example. Let's say you want to improve your physical fitness. The vague goal would be, I want to get in shape. But a clear goal would be, I want to lose 20 low Bs in 3 months by going to the gym 3 times a week and following a healthy diet. Do you see the difference? The clear goal is specific. It defines how much weight you want to lose and in what time frame. It's measurable. You can track your progress and see if you're on track. It's achievable. It's a realistic goal that you can actually attain. It's relevant. It aligns with your overall goal of improving your physical fitness. And it's time bound. It has a deadline which creates a sense of urgency and accountability. But setting clear goals is just the first step. The next step is to create a plan to achieve those goals. You see, a goal without a plan is just a wish. So my friends, I urge you to create a plan that will help you achieve your goals. 
Break your goal down into smaller, actionable steps. Identify potential obstacles and come up with solutions to overcome them. And most importantly, take action. A goal without action is just a dream. Now I want to address something that often holds people back from setting clear goals. The fear of failure. Many of us are afraid to set clear goals because we are afraid of not achieving them. But let me tell you something, my friends. Failure is not the opposite of success. It's a part of success. Every successful person has faced failure at some point in their journey. But the difference between them and those who give up is that they never let failure stop them from pursuing their goals. They learn from their failures, they adapt, and they keep moving forward. So my friends, do not let the fear of failure hold you back. Embrace it, learn from it, and use it as fuel to propel you towards your goals. Another important aspect of setting clear goals is to constantly review and revise them. As we grow and evolve, our goals may also change, and that's okay. It's important to regularly review our goals and make adjustments if needed. It's also important to celebrate our successes along the way. Each step towards our goals is a cause for celebration, no matter how small. This will keep us motivated and inspired to keep pushing forward. Setting clear goals is the number one way to improve your personal development. It gives us direction, purpose, and motivation. It allows us to define what we truly want and create a plan to get there. Remember to set smart goals, create a plan, take action, and never let the fear of failure hold you back. And most importantly, always remember to review, revise, and celebrate your successes. So my friends, I urge you to set clear goals and watch as your personal development flourishes. Thank you. Thank. I'm excited to be here with you today to talk about a topic that is near and dear to my heart. Motivation. Are you a person that struggles with maintaining motivation long term? Do you find yourself starting off strong but then losing steam and falling back into old habits? If so, you are not alone. In today's fast-paced world, it can be challenging to stay motivated and focused on our goals. But fear not. Because in today's message, I am going to share with you five ways to maintain motivation long term. These are strategies that I have personally used and have seen work for countless others. So, if you are ready to turn things around and take control of your motivation, then keep watching. Because by the end of this video, you will have the tools and techniques to keep your motivation levels high and achieve your dreams. So let's dive in and discover the power of long-term motivation together. Starting with the number 5 way to maintain motivation long-term. By taking care of yourself. Now I know what you may be thinking. Of course taking care of ourselves is important. But how does it relate to motivation? Well, my friends, let me tell you. Taking care of yourself is not just about physical health, but it also encompasses your mental, emotional and spiritual well-being. And when all these aspects are in harmony, it directly impacts our motivation levels. So, let's dive into the ways in which we can take care of ourselves and maintain motivation long term. Firstly, let's talk about physical health. Our bodies are our temples, and it is our responsibility to take care of them. We must ensure that we are eating healthy, nourishing foods, and staying physically active. When we fuel our bodies with the right nutrients and engage in regular exercise, we not only improve our physical health, but it also has a positive impact on our mental and emotional well-being. We feel more energetic, focused, and ready to take on any challenges that come our way. And this, my friends, is crucial for maintaining motivation long term. Secondly, we must prioritize our mental health. In today's fast-paced world, we are constantly bombarded with stress, anxiety, and pressure. It is essential to take some time out for ourselves and practice self-care. This could mean indulging in a hobby, spending time in nature, or simply taking a break from our daily routine. When we take care of our mental health, we are better equipped to handle any setbacks or obstacles that may come our way. And this, my friends, is essential for maintaining motivation long term. Next, let's talk about emotional well-being. We are emotional beings, and it is natural for us to experience a range of emotions. However, it is crucial to acknowledge and process these emotions in a healthy manner. Bottling up our emotions or ignoring them can lead to burnout and a lack of motivation. We must learn to express our emotions, whether it is through journaling, talking to a loved one, or seeking professional help. When we take care of our emotional well-being, we can channel our emotions into positive energy, which fuels our motivation. 
Now let's move on to the spiritual aspect of taking care of ourselves. Spirituality means different things to different people. For some, it may mean connecting with a higher power, while for others, it could mean finding inner peace and purpose. Whatever it may be, it is essential to nurture our spiritual well-being. Lastly, but certainly not least, we must take care of ourselves by setting boundaries. In today's world, we are constantly connected and accessible, which can lead to burnout and a lack of motivation. It is crucial to set boundaries and prioritize our well-being. This could mean saying no to things that do not align with our values or taking breaks from technology. When we set boundaries, we create space for ourselves to recharge and rejuvenate, which directly impacts our motivation levels. My friends, taking care of ourselves is not a luxury, it is a necessity. It is essential to prioritize our physical, mental, emotional and spiritual well-being to maintain motivation long term. Remember, we cannot pour from an empty cup. We must take care of ourselves first, before we can take care of anything else. This leads us to number four, maintaining motivation long term by continuous learning and growing. You see motivation is like a fire. It needs to be constantly fueled to keep burning. One of the most effective ways to fuel your motivation is by learning and growing. The world we live in is constantly changing and evolving, and if we want to keep up and thrive in it, we must also be willing to change and evolve. We must be willing to learn new things, acquire new skills, and expand our knowledge. Because the reality is, if we stop learning, we stop growing, and if we stop growing, we stop living. Think about it. When we were children, we were constantly learning and growing. We were curious, adventurous, and fearless. But as we grow older, we tend to lose that sense of wonder and curiosity. We become comfortable with what we know and what we have achieved. And while there is nothing wrong with being content, we must never become complacent. We must never stop learning and growing. One of the key reasons why learning and growth are essential for maintaining motivation long term is because they keep our minds engaged and active. When we are learning something new, our brains are constantly firing, making new connections, and expanding our understanding. This not only keeps our minds sharp, but it also helps us stay motivated and inspired. Moreover, learning and growth open up new opportunities and possibilities for us. They allow us to see the world from different perspectives and to discover new passions and interests. By continuously learning and growing, we are able to break out of our comfort zones and reach for new heights. But I understand that learning and growth can be intimidating. We may feel like we don't have the time, resources or abilities to learn new things. But let me tell you, there has never been a better time to learn and grow. With the internet and technology, we have access to endless amounts of information and resources at our fingertips. We can learn anything we want, anytime we want. And here's a little secret. The most successful and motivated people in the world are lifelong learners. They understand the value of constantly improving themselves and expanding their knowledge. They know that in order to achieve their goals and dreams, they must continuously learn and grow. So how can we incorporate learning and growth into our lives to maintain motivation long term? Well, the first step is to have a growth mindset. This means believing that our abilities and intelligence are not fixed but can be developed through effort and learning. When we have a growth mindset, we are open to challenges, we embrace failure as a learning opportunity, and we are willing to put in the work to improve ourselves. The next step is to set learning and growth goals for ourselves. Just like we set goals for our careers or relationships, we should also set goals for our personal development. This could be learning a new language, taking a course, or developing a new skill. By setting specific goals, we give ourselves direction and motivation to keep learning and growing. Another important aspect of learning and growth is to surround ourselves with people who inspire us and challenge us to be better. We are greatly influenced by the people we spend the most time with, so it's important to choose our circle wisely. Find mentors, join communities, and surround yourself with people who share your desire for growth and learning. Lastly, make learning and growth a daily habit. It doesn't have to be something big or time-consuming. It could be as simple as reading a few pages of a book every day listening to a podcast on your commute, or watching a documentary. The key is to make it a consistent part of your routine. Which leads us to number three. Maintain motivation long term by celebrating small victories. Now, you may be wondering why celebrating small victories is so important. Well my friends, let me tell you, celebrating small victories is like fuel for your motivation. It keeps you going even in the face of challenges and setbacks. 
It is a powerful tool that can help you stay motivated and on track towards your goals. You see, we often get so focused on the big picture, on the end goal, that we forget to celebrate the small victories along the way. We become so fixated on the destination that we forget to enjoy the journey. But the truth is, the journey is where the magic happens. It is in the small victories that we gain confidence, learn valuable lessons, and grow as individuals. Still, my friends, I urge you to start celebrating your small victories. It doesn't matter how small they may seem. Every step forward is a victory worth celebrating. Did you wake up early today? Celebrate it. Did you finish a project ahead of schedule? Celebrate it. Did you make a healthy choice for lunch? Celebrate it. These may seem like small things, but they are all steps towards your bigger goals. And by celebrating them, you are acknowledging your progress and boosting your motivation. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, but won't celebrating small victories distract me from staying focused on the end goal? And to that, I say no. Celebrating small victories does not mean losing sight of the bigger picture. It simply means acknowledging and appreciating the progress you have made. It is about finding a balance between staying focused on the end goal and enjoying the journey. In fact, celebrating small victories can actually help you stay focused on your goals. When you take the time to celebrate your progress, you are reminding yourself of why you started in the first place. You are reigniting your passion and reminding yourself of the end goal. And that, my friends, is a powerful motivator. I also want to address the importance of celebrating your own victories. We often look to others for validation and recognition, but it is crucial to learn to celebrate our own victories. We don't need someone else's approval to feel proud of our accomplishments. By celebrating our own victories, we are taking ownership of our success and building our self-confidence. Now, I want to share with you a simple yet effective way to celebrate your small victories. Create a victory journal. Every time you achieve something, no matter how small, write it down in your journal. It could be something as simple as sticking to your workout routine for a week, or completing a challenging task at work. By writing down your victories, you are creating a visual representation of your progress, and you can look back on it whenever you need a boost of motivation. Another way to celebrate small victories is to reward yourself. Set small milestones for yourself, and when you achieve them, reward yourself with something you enjoy. It could be a day off, a movie night, or anything that brings you joy. By rewarding yourself, you are reinforcing the behavior that led to the victory and motivating yourself to keep going. Which leads us to number two. Maintain motivation long term by surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people. Now, you may be wondering why this is so important. Well, let me tell you my friends, that the people you surround yourself with have a direct impact on your thoughts, actions, and ultimately your success. Think about it. If you are constantly surrounded by negative and toxic people, how can you expect to stay motivated and focused on your goals? These people will only bring you down, drain your energy, and fill your mind with doubts and fears. On the other hand, if you surround yourself with positive and supportive people, they will uplift you, encourage you, and help you stay motivated even during the toughest of times. Now, I want to make one thing clear. When I say surround yourself with positive and supportive people, I am not talking about just anyone. I am talking about people who genuinely care about you and your success, people who have a positive mindset, and people who are on a similar journey as you. These are the kind of people who will push you to be your best self, who will hold you accountable, and who will celebrate your victories with you. So, how do you go about surrounding yourself with such people? Well, the first step is to evaluate your current circle. Take a good look at the people you spend the most time with. Are they positive and supportive? Do they inspire and motivate you? If the answer is no, then it's time to make some changes. Surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people also means being selective about who you let into your inner circle. Don't be afraid to distance yourself from negative influences, toxic relationships, and energy vampires. Remember, it's not about the quantity of people in your life. It's about the quality. The next step is to actively seek out and connect with people who align with your values and goals. Attend networking events, join mastermind groups, or even reach out to people online who inspire you. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there and make new connections. You never know who you might meet and how they can impact your life for the better. Another important aspect of surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people 
is to be a positive and supportive person yourself. As the saying goes, you attract what you put out into the world. So, be the kind of person you want to surround yourself with. Be a source of positivity, encouragement, and motivation for others. Not only will this attract like-minded people into your life, but it will also help you maintain your own motivation and drive. Now, I want to address a common misconception about surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people. Some may argue that it's important to have a diverse group of friends, and that being surrounded by only positive people can lead to a bubble of unrealistic positivity. But let me tell you, my friends, that surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people does not mean surrounding yourself with people who agree with you all the time. It means surrounding yourself with people who will challenge you, who will give you honest feedback, and who will help you grow. In fact, having a diverse group of friends can be beneficial as long as they all have a positive and supportive mindset. This way, you can learn from each other's different perspectives and experiences, and still maintain a positive and uplifting environment. Which leads us to number one. Maintain motivation long term by setting clear and specific goals. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. Goals? I've heard it all before. I've set goals in the past, and they never seem to work out. And to that, I say, you are not alone. Many people struggle with setting and achieving their goals. But the truth is, it's not the goal that is the problem. It's the lack of clarity and specificity in setting those goals. You see, goals are like a road map. They give us direction and guide us towards our desired destination. But just like a road map, if it's not clear and specific, we may end up lost and frustrated. And that's what happens when we set vague and general goals. We lack direction, and we lose motivation because we don't know where we're going. So, the first step in maintaining motivation long term, is to set clear and specific goals. And I want to emphasize the word specific. Setting a goal to lose weight or make more money is not specific enough. How much weight do you want to lose? How much money do you want to make? When do you want to achieve these goals? Without specificity, our goals become wishful thinking rather than actionable steps toward success. Now some of you may be wondering, why is it important to have clear and specific goals? The answer is simple. Our minds are wired to achieve what we focus on. When we have a clear and specific goal, our minds can create a plan and work towards achieving it. It's like a laser beam, focused and powerful. But when our goals are vague and general, our minds become scattered, and we lack the motivation to take action. Let me share with you a personal story. When I first started my journey towards success, I had a general goal of becoming successful. But as I learned more about the power of setting clear and specific goals, I changed my approach. I set a specific goal to make $100,000 in one year. And let me tell you, that goal changed everything for me. It gave me a clear target to aim for and my mind went to work to figure out how to achieve it. And I am proud to say that I not only achieved that goal but surpassed it. So how do we set clear and specific goals? The first step is to get clear on what you want. Take some time to reflect and ask yourself, what do I truly want in life? Be honest with yourself and write down your desires. The second step is to make your goals measurable. As I mentioned earlier, setting a goal to lose weight is not specific enough. But setting a goal to lose 20 pounds in three months is measurable, and gives you a clear target to aim for. The third step is to set a deadline. Without a deadline, our goals become open-ended, and we lose the sense of urgency to take action. So, ask yourself, when do I want to achieve this goal, and write down a specific date. The final step is to break down your goal into smaller, actionable steps. This will not only make your goal more manageable, but will also give you a sense of progress and motivation as you achieve each step. Now I want to address a common misconception about goal setting. Some people believe that once they achieve their goal, they can relax and take a break. But the truth is, setting and achieving goals is a continuous process. As we achieve one goal, we must set new and bigger goals to keep growing and moving forward. That's why it's essential to have a long-term vision and set goals that align with that vision. So my friends, I urge you to take action today. Get clear on what you want, make your goals measurable, set a deadline, and break them down into smaller steps. And remember, your goals may change and evolve over time, and that's okay. The key is to have a clear and specific direction to maintain motivation long term. So, I challenge you to set clear and specific goals in all areas of your life, and I guarantee you will see a significant improvement in your motivation and success. Thank you. In today's message, I want to address something that I know many of you are struggling with. 
How to make this year your best year yet. We all have goals and dreams, but sometimes life gets in the way, and we find ourselves feeling stuck and unfulfilled. But I'm here to tell you that you are not alone in this journey. We all face challenges and setbacks, but it's how we respond to them that determines our success. That's why I'm excited to share with you these five ways that can help you turn things around and make this year your best year yet. Whether you want to improve your health, your relationships, your finances, or any other area of your life, these strategies can be applied to any goal or aspiration. So if you're ready to take control of your life and make this year your best year yet, then stay tuned and let's dive into these five powerful ways together. Trust me, by the end of this message, you will have a clear roadmap to achieving your goals and making this year your most successful and fulfilling one yet. So let's get started. Starting with the fifth way of making this year the best one yet, which is taking action and being consistent. You see, my friends, it is not enough to simply have a dream or a goal. We must take action towards it every single day. We must be consistent in our efforts, even when it gets tough, even when we face obstacles and setbacks. Because it is in those moments when we push through and keep going that we truly grow and become the person we need to be to achieve our dreams. I have seen so many people with incredible potential who have big dreams and goals, but they never take action. They wait for the perfect moment, for the right opportunity, for everything to fall into place. But let me tell you, my friends, the perfect moment will never come. The right opportunity will never present itself. It is up to us to create our own opportunities, to make our own perfect moments. Take a look at successful people, those who have achieved their dreams and are living their best lives. Do you think they got there by waiting for the perfect moment? No, they took action. They were consistent in their efforts, day in and day out. They didn't let fear or doubt hold them back. They didn't wait for someone else to do it for them. They took responsibility for their own success and took action towards it. And that is what I want for each and every one of you, my friends. I want you to take action towards your dreams, towards your goals. I want you to be consistent in your efforts, to never give up, to keep pushing forward, no matter what. Because I promise you, if you do, you will achieve things beyond your wildest imagination. Now I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, it's not that easy. I have a job, I have a family, I have responsibilities. How can I possibly find the time and energy to take action towards my dreams? My friends, let me tell you, it is not about finding the time, it is about making the time. It is about prioritizing and making your dreams a priority in your life. Think about it. How much time do we waste on things that don't really matter? How much time do we spend scrolling through social media, watching TV, or complaining about our lives? We all have the same 24 hours in a day. It is up to us to use them wisely. And I can guarantee you, if you make your dreams a priority and take action towards them every day, you will find the time and energy to make them a reality. But I also want to address the fear and doubt that may be holding some of you back. I know it can be scary to step out of our comfort zones, to take risks, to face failure. But let me tell you, my friends, failure is not something to be feared. Failure is simply a lesson, a stepping stone towards success. It is through failure that we learn, that we grow, that we become better versions of ourselves. And as for doubt, I want you to remember this. Doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. Doubt is the voice in our head that tells us we're not good enough, that we can't do it, that we should just give up. But I am here to tell you, my friends, that you are good enough, you can do it, and giving up is not an option. Which leads me to the fourth way of making this year the best one yet, which is learning something new. Now you may be wondering, why is learning something new so important? Well, let me tell you, my friends, when we stop learning, we stop growing. And when we stop growing, we stop living. Learning is the key to unlocking our full potential and living a fulfilling life. Think about it. When you were a child, you were constantly learning new things. You learned how to walk, how to talk, how to read and write. And as you grew older, you continued to learn new skills and acquire knowledge. But somewhere along the way, many of us stopped actively seeking out new things to learn. We became comfortable with what we already knew and settled into a routine. But let me tell you, comfort is the enemy of progress. If you want to make this year your best year, you must commit to learning something new. It could be a new skill, a new language, a new hobby, or even just a new fact about the world. 
The possibilities are endless, and the best part is, learning doesn't have to be a daunting task. It can be fun, exciting, and incredibly rewarding. So how can you start incorporating learning into your life? The first step is to have an open mind. Be open to new experiences, new ideas, and new ways of thinking. Don't limit yourself to what you already know. Embrace the unknown and be willing to take risks. The next step is to set a goal for yourself. What do you want to learn? What skills do you want to acquire? Having a clear goal in mind will give you direction and motivation to keep learning. And remember, your goal doesn't have to be grandiose. It could be something as simple as learning how to cook your favorite dish, or learning how to play an instrument. Once you have a goal, the next step is to create a plan. How will you achieve your goal? Will you take a class, read a book, or watch online tutorials? Find a method that works best for you and stick to it. And don't be afraid to ask for help or guidance along the way. Learning is a journey, and it's okay to have a guide. Now I know what some of you may be thinking. I don't have the time to learn something new. But let me tell you, my friends, time is not the issue. It's how we prioritize our time that matters. We all have the same 24 hours in a day, and it's up to us to decide how we use it. Instead of mindlessly scrolling through social media or binge-watching TV shows, use that time to learn something new. Trust me, you will feel much more fulfilled and accomplished. Another important aspect of learning is to stay curious. Never lose your childlike curiosity about the world. Ask questions, seek answers, and never stop learning. As Albert Einstein once said, the important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. Now, I want to address a common misconception about learning, that it's only for the young. Let me tell you, age is just a number. You are never too old to learn something new. In fact, learning can keep your mind sharp and improve your overall well-being. So don't let your age hold you back from learning and growing. Learning something new also allows us to step out of our comfort zone. And let me tell you, my friends, that's where the magic happens. When we step out of our comfort zone, we challenge ourselves and discover our true potential. We may even surprise ourselves with what we are capable of. Lastly, I want to remind you that learning is a continuous process. It doesn't stop when we reach a certain age or achieve a certain goal. We should always strive to learn and grow, no matter where we are in life. As the famous saying goes, the more you know, the more you realize you don't know. Which leads me to the third way of making this year the best one yet, which is taking care of your physical and mental health. You see, my friends, we often get caught up in the hustle and bustle of life. We are constantly chasing after our goals and dreams, working tirelessly to achieve success. But in this pursuit, we often neglect the most important thing. We often forget that our physical and mental well-being is the foundation upon which we can build our dreams and create the life we desire. So today I want to share with you the number three way to make this year your best year. Taking care of your physical and mental health. Our bodies are like machines. Just like any machine, they require proper maintenance and care in order to function at their best. We cannot expect to achieve our goals and dreams if we are not taking care of our physical health. This means eating nutritious foods, exercising regularly, and getting enough rest and sleep. I know it may seem like a simple concept. But how many of us actually prioritize our health? How many of us make excuses for not eating healthy or exercising? We often say, I don't have time, or I'll start tomorrow. But the truth is, there will never be a perfect time to start taking care of our health. The time is now. Let me share a personal story with you. When I was in my early 20s, I was so focused on building my career and achieving success that I neglected my health. I would work long hours, eat junk food, and barely get any sleep. But then I realized that I was not able to perform at my best. My energy levels were low, my productivity was suffering, and I was constantly getting sick. It was a wake-up call for me. I realized that I needed to prioritize my health if I wanted to achieve my goals and live a fulfilling life. So I made a conscious effort to take care of my physical health. I started eating healthy, exercising regularly, and getting enough rest. And let me tell you, it made all the difference. I had more energy, I was more focused, and I was able to achieve my goals with ease. Taking care of my physical health not only improved my overall well-being, but it also helped me become more successful in all areas of my life. Now let's talk about mental health. This is a topic that is often overlooked and stigmatized, but it is just as important as our physical health. 
Our mental health affects how we think, feel, and act. It is the foundation of our emotional and psychological well-being. And just like our physical health, we cannot expect to achieve success and live a fulfilling life if we are not taking care of our mental health. So my friends, I want to encourage you to prioritize your mental health this year. This means taking care of your emotional and psychological well-being. It means finding healthy ways to cope with stress and negative emotions. It means surrounding yourself with positive and supportive people. It means practicing self-care and self-love. I know that life can be challenging at times. We all have our struggles and our own battles to fight. But remember, it is not about what happens to us, but how we respond to it. We cannot control everything that happens in our lives, but we can control our thoughts and reactions. And by taking care of our mental health, we can build resilience and inner strength to overcome any obstacle that comes our way. Now I want to share with you a simple but powerful exercise that I believe can help you take care of your physical and mental health. It is called the Daily Three. Every day, I want you to commit to doing three things that will contribute to your physical and mental well-being. It can be as simple as taking a walk, meditating, or spending quality time with loved ones. The key is to make it a daily habit and be consistent with it. Which leads me to the number two way of making this year the best one yet. Develop a positive mindset. Our mindset is like a lens through which we view the world. It shapes our thoughts, our actions, and ultimately our results. And if we want to achieve greatness, we must first start by cultivating a positive mindset. Now I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, how can I just change my mindset? It's not that easy. And to that I say, you're absolutely right. It's not easy, but it is possible. And it all starts with a decision. You see, our minds are like gardens. If we want to grow beautiful flowers, we must first remove the weeds and nourish the soil. Similarly, if we want to have a positive mindset, we must first remove the negative thoughts and beliefs that are holding us back. So let me ask you, what thoughts are you allowing to take root in your mind? Are they thoughts of doubt, fear, and limitation? Or are they thoughts of hope, possibility, and abundance? Because whatever thoughts we allow to take root will ultimately determine the fruits we bear in our lives. But here's the thing. We have the power to choose our thoughts. We have the power to cultivate a positive mindset. And it all starts with being aware of our thoughts and consciously choosing to replace the negative ones with positive ones. You see, our thoughts are like a boomerang. What we put out into the universe will come back to us. If we constantly think negative thoughts, we will attract negativity into our lives. But if we choose to think positive thoughts, we will attract positivity and abundance. So my friends, I urge you to be mindful of your thoughts. When a negative thought creeps in, ask yourself, is this thought serving me? Is it helping me to become the best version of myself? And if the answer is no, then consciously choose to replace it with a positive thought. Now I know it's not always easy to maintain a positive mindset, especially when faced with challenges and setbacks. But that's when it's most important to stay positive. Because it's during those tough times that our mindset is truly put to the test. You see, challenges and setbacks are inevitable in life. But it's not the challenge itself that determines our success. It's how we choose to respond to it. And having a positive mindset can make all the difference. When we have a positive mindset, we see challenges as opportunities for growth and learning. We don't let them discourage us or hold us back. Instead, we use them as stepping stones to reach our goals and dreams. So my friends, I urge you to embrace challenges and setbacks with a positive mindset. Trust that everything happens for a reason, and that you have the strength and resilience to overcome any obstacle that comes your way. Now I want to address something that I know holds many of us back from developing a positive mindset, and that is the fear of failure. You see many of us have been conditioned to believe that failure is a bad thing. But I'm here to tell you that failure is not the opposite of success. It is a part of success. Every successful person has failed at some point in their journey. But the difference between those who succeed and those who don't, is their mindset. Successful people see failure as a learning experience, as a stepping stone to success. They don't let it define them or hold them back. So my friends, I urge you to let go of your fear of failure. Embrace it, learn from it, and use it as fuel to propel you towards your goals and dreams. Now, I want to share with you a powerful quote that has helped me maintain a positive mindset throughout my life. It is, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Think about that for a moment. 
Are the people you surround yourself with positive, uplifting and supportive? Or are they negative, pessimistic, and constantly bringing you down? Which leads me to the number one way of making this year the best one yet. Set specific and achievable goals. Goals are the fuel that propels us toward success. They give us direction, purpose, and motivation. Without goals, we are like ships without a rudder, drifting aimlessly in the sea of life. But with clear and specific goals, we can chart our course and reach our desired destination. So let me ask you, what are your goals for this year? Have you taken the time to sit down and think about what you want to achieve? Or are you simply going through the motions, letting life happen to you instead of making things happen for you? The truth is, if you don't have a plan for your life, someone else will have a plan for you. And I can guarantee you, it won't be as fulfilling as the plan you have for yourself. Now I know some of you may be thinking, but Jim, I have tried setting goals before, and I never seem to achieve them. What's the point? Well my friend, the problem is not with setting goals, but with setting the right goals and having the right mindset to achieve them. You see, setting specific and achievable goals is not just about writing down a list of things you want to accomplish. It's about having a clear vision of what you want, breaking it down into smaller actionable steps, and having the determination and discipline to follow through. Let me share with you three key principles to help you set and achieve your goals this year. Firstly, your goals must be specific. The more specific your goals are, the more likely you are to achieve them. Instead of saying, I want to lose weight, be specific and say, I want to lose 20 low Bs by June 1st. This gives you a clear target to aim for and helps you stay focused on what you need to do to achieve it. Secondly, your goals must be achievable. You must set goals that are within your control and that you have the ability to achieve. Setting unrealistic goals will only lead to disappointment and frustration. Be honest with yourself and set goals that are challenging yet attainable. Lastly, your goals must be written down. This may seem like a simple step, but it is crucial. Writing down your goals not only helps you clarify them, but it also serves as a constant reminder of what you are working towards. I recommend writing your goals down in the present tense, as if you have already achieved them. This sends a powerful message to your subconscious mind and helps you stay motivated. Now. I want to address the elephant in the room. Seer. Many of us are afraid to set big goals because we are afraid of failure. But let me tell you, failure is not something to be feared. In fact, failure is an essential part of the journey toward success. It is through our failures that we learn, grow, and become better versions of ourselves. So I urge you to let go of your fear and dream big. As the saying goes, if your dreams don't scare you, they are not big enough. Set goals that stretch you, that push you out of your comfort zone. And when you encounter setbacks or failures, don't give up. Instead, use them as stepping stones towards your ultimate goal. But setting and achieving goals is not just about external success. It's also about personal growth and development. As we move into part two of this series, I want to challenge you to not only set goals for your career, finances and health, but also for your personal growth. Set goals to read more books, to learn a new skill, to improve your relationships, or to become a better version of yourself. In closing, my friends, I want to remind you that this year can be your best year yet. But it all starts with setting specific and achievable goals. Remember, your goals must be specific, achievable, and written down. And don't let fear hold you back from dreaming big and taking action towards your goals. I leave you with these words from the late. Great Zig Ziglar. What you get by achieving your goals is not as important as what you become by achieving your goals. So let's make this year not just about achieving external success, but about becoming the best versions of ourselves. Thank you.